Romance and adventure are associated with working on the railroad, however it has always been a dangerous occupation. In 1849, soon after construction of the Nashville-Chattanooga Railroad began, NC President Vernon K. Stevenson acknowledged the dangers of railroad work by appointing his father-in-law, Dr. Paul Eve, Chief Surgeon of the Railroad. After the Civil War, Dr. Paul treated patients in his Nashville office at 158 Church Street with his son, Dr. Duncan Eve. After his father's death in 1878, Duncan Eve became the railroad's chief surgeon. In 1904, after graduating from Vanderbilt Medical School, Dr. Duncan Eve Jr. joined his father's practice. In 1918, he lived on Whitland Avenue in Nashville with his wife Louise and their daughter Genevieve. The Nashville and Chattanooga Railroad used black laborers from its earliest days of construction. Leased to the railroad by their owners, slaves worked with Irish immigrants to build the 151-mile road from Nashville to Chattanooga. During the Civil War, slaves and free blacks were conscripted by the Union Army to lay connecting tracks between Kingston Springs and Johnsonville, Tennessee. In the years following the war, black laborers continued to work for the NC. Many of the Irish immigrants hired to help construct the Nashville-Chattanooga Railroad in 1849 continued to work for the NC, and their sons later pursued employment with the railroad. By the turn of the century, a large number of these sons had long years of experience working with the Nashville, Chattanooga, and St. Louis Railway. In 1918, Irish immigrant sons William Lloyd, David Kennedy, and John T. Nolan Jr. were all veteran NC and St. L. engineers. In 1918, young Henry Hill lived in West Nashville on Delaware Avenue with his wife Julia. He was the official railroad photographer. Mr. Hill spent many days and nights away from home documenting on film public events and unfortunate occurrences on Nashville's railroad. For almost 40 years, Mr. Hill and his speed graphics press camera were a familiar sight to the people who lived in towns serviced by the NC. Wesley White and James Binkley were thrown from the train. Duncan Evans and Henry Clay Loftus arrived with the wrecking crew from the shops. Railroad surgeons Dr. Eve and Dr. Duncan Eve Jr. toiled throughout the day to save the injured and dying. Photographer Henry Hill arrived from his nearby home and documented the events of the day on film. <laughs> 